Welcome, welcome everybody. Welcome to live streams. Welcome to live streams. My name is Viktor Gamov. Hopefully you can hear me looking good. Uh, hopefully you can hear me, you can see me. Um, let me know in the comments right now. If you can hear me, you can see me, there's no weird echo um, and uh, everything is fine. Auto is like jumping in front of gun. Just like, like, okay, give me everything, Victor. Give me everything. Wait a second. I just need to, uh, we need to have a couple seconds to talk to our audience, all right? Okay. All right. Great. <laughs> um, that's, that's fantastic. Like, I love uh, when the people are uh, so engaged and ready for <laughs> jumping into the things. Um, welcome to live streams. Live streams is the weekly show where I'm talking all things. Stream processing, Kafka, Confluent, Cloud, uh, some programming, a little bit Java. I love Java. Um, so, <laughs> um, as always, um, as I like to say, it is a bring your own drink show. Um, today I'm drinking my um, my organic pre-workout drink, as always. Um, just a ton of caffeine, so it will be uh, driven. It's my, actually, like a second... Um, uh, second event today because uh, today is a very very um, <laughs> very busy day as a matter of fact um, we are uh, doing multiple things today so uh, the confluent is six years old so we're kicking off a some of the <laughs> birthday festivities i did a meetup earlier today i was talking about kafka streams and uh we will have uh neil Busing and even just like postava talking about some of the cool things that we do here in confluent and um you should check it out so as always this is the place where you're going uh for all your uh meetups uh, things and today is going to be three meetups so you can you can go and, and find it here so it's great. It's great. It's great. We have a uh, uh, here. We have uh, some some people. No, my co-presenter is not here. My co-presenter is napping. I would love to nap as well, but uh, I'm here with you, folks. We're going to be talking about <laughs> some some cool stuff. No, there's no co-presenter. All right. So give me a give me some idea. Where you folks are coming from? Um, where are the people coming from? What are you drinking today? And uh, um, we, we will start uh, rolling our today's, um, today's, um, today's stream. See some of the, uh, some of the people, uh, some of the people are regulars. Any good stuff? Yes. Uh, <laughs> always good stuff on live streams, right? Um, and uh, for those of you um, who, um, Asking the questions about like what is gonna what is going on, what's gonna happen today, what what is topic, you should definitely follow uh, me and Confluent on Twitter because in announcement of this on this show we actually said uh, some of the um, some of the cool stuff, and uh, this is what we're gonna be talking today. It's equal to be Java client. This is um, something that I would be personally um, personally interested in. Um, also. As always, I'm open to do any live Q&A sessions that, um, uh, any questions that you might have, um, any interesting topic that you want to uh, talk about, I'm happy to, um, to answer all those questions. Um, do not forget when you join here, uh, sign of good fame, just hit that like button. I would really appreciate that. Okay, so um, before we begin, I want to show you something, something really, really cool, and I believe many of you will uh, enjoy that. So a friend of mine and my colleague, Robin Moffat, uh, recorded this uh, Kafka Connect in 60 seconds, which is like for very busy, Kafka Connect for very busy developers, for people who are um, like super busy and they don't have a time to drill into the Robin's videos. Um, he record another video where he's talking about Kafka Connect in 30 seconds, in 60 seconds. You can, um, you can definitely check this out. It's pretty awesome. All right, we see, um, 
Andreas is our regular. Welcome back. Uh, Otto, привет из Грузии. Gamardjoba, Bijo. Uh, tell me if I did this right. Um, okay, Alexander drinking only tea today. And uh, hello from Taiwan. Hello and welcome. Thanks for being with us. Uh, you should, Andreas, you definitely should start doing Twitter because all the cool announcements that happened there. Um, no, no, we're not going to talk about user-defined functions today. We're going to be talking some 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 other things. Uh, Sergey, welcome. Uh, hello from Ukraine. Great. Um, awesome. Do not forget, hit that like button. I would really appreciate that. And the... Uh, <laughs> All right, yeah, I uh, I have a few uh, secrets in my uh, the the in my sleep. All right, so uh, let's get back to uh, to the point. I think we need to cover a lot of things today. So, um, if you've been here um, last week, last week uh, you can find. As a matter of fact, you can find all these uh, recordings in our uh, channel, and. Um, from the last week, I actually updated a uh, live stream um, uh, time codes. So you wanna, if you want to go here, and you can find some of the time codes that I did uh, last time. So in the last time, I broke down my um, my workshop for you, the workshop that I did at the spring one. And I was thinking, okay, so we were doing uh, mostly uh, like a Spring and Java development during during that um, uh, during that stream, and uh, at the end there was a KSQL DB. It was just like I need to like play around in UI and things like that. So I was thinking, okay, uh, my my uh, people <laughs> from KSQL DB team released the KSQL DB Java client, which is uh, which is pretty awesome. I think it's a uh, it is Java client that um, allows you to interact with the KSQL DB server programmatically. Um, how we can do this previously? Let me let me actually show you. Um, um, and this is my. Uh, let's see if I let me quickly find this project where I have the platform. Yeah, so this project. In the past, if I need to programmatically interact with uh, KSQL DB server, the way how I was doing this, um, what IntelliJ idea froze somewhere in between. Let's see if I will be able to fix it. Um, if I need to interact with this uh, KSQL DB server, so how I can do that, um, I would use just uh, some sort of like a REST client to submit this query. And once I submit this REST query, then I will be able to um, read the response and things like that. So it is possible, it's, it's, uh, it's doable, but it's like too low level. It's very, you know, hacky in my opinion. So it's not, it's not even hacky, it's just like um, cumbersome, maybe, yeah? It's a word I I'm, I'm wanna use. And today I want to use this guy. So the Java client is essentially a um, API that wrapper around this REST API. It's technically not even REST API. It's HTTP2, um, and it's more like a HTTP2 like endpoint. That's uh, that's that's how how it works. And uh, I will try to write the app that will perform same things that I did in my. Uh, uh, in my workshop on the Spring one. So we will try to um, create the same stuff. We will try to interact with the server using the following um, statements and we will try to do this from Java. So we will create this table, um, create a stream, and we will run this select query. Um, and as always uh, in the live streams, it's just like uh, things that I I didn't prepare for this one. I just like, okay, so KSQL DB, Java client, let me play around with this and then see how it goes. Uh, so um, 
let's let's see how it goes. Um, a quick reminder that um, our live streams uh, repository. As always, we go into live streams. All the code will live here. It's uh, confluenting demo scene live streams. There would be something like September, what? September 15. So MKCD, September 15. And uh, let's do Gradle init. I will use this as an application. We're going to be using Java today. I really want to use Kotlin. So like write down in the comments if you would be interested in doing some, some of the Kotlin stuff. Um, I will be using Groovy DSL still. And uh, what? JUnit, what? JUnit 4, whatever. 4. Let's do 4. I'm not going to do any testing though. Um, project name is going to be KSQL DB uh, live streams. Um, and I'll do io.confluent.developer and it's called live streams. Okay. Let's open this in IntelliJ. Uh, while it's doing this, let's see if there are any questions. Um, anything about KCLDB materialized you somehow? Yeah, it's not a 100% uh, KCLDB materialized you topic, but uh, we'll try to do something. Um, Kiran from Nepal, welcome, uh, welcome to live streams. Thank you for joining us. It's awesome. Um, uh, Luis. Henrique Gomez, Camilo. Hey, everyone here work with Kafka. Tell me your experience and what do you use to convince other people to use it? That's very long question. And I think we can do a whole live stream about this. But um, the cool thing about in 2020, most of the people already familiar with, uh, with Kafka and uh, people know uh, why to use it. Hopefully, I, I really hope that people know why to use it, how to convince this. Um, I would love to see, I would love to hear some other opinions in uh, in the comments. If you uh, people want to talk about this, um, um, if you uh, if you people uh, want to uh, help uh, with um, with this question to Luis Henrique Gomez. Uh, can you make uh, IntelliJ team theme light? Is much easier to see. Uh, okay, I don't know. Like, what what's the other opinions? Like, I kind of like stuck with this theme, and I like it very much. Um, let me just make it the font bigger. So in this case, it would be much easier to see. I'm pretty sure it's going to be much easier to see uh, with this um, bigger font. All right. Um, yeah, so there's some of the some of the stuff that the Gradle init generated for us. We don't need this. Uh, we don't need this. So first thing that we need to do, Guava. Also, we don't need this. Uh, we'll keep JUnit. I don't. Uh, I don't plan to use any testing today. But hey, we'll see how it goes. The um, the are uh, do, 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 do. all right. So where would we stand? So first thing is that we need to get the jar somewhere, right? So in this case, uh, it uses some of the um, repositories. We will grab those um, and we'll do maven URL. Oops. And let's see if it goes. It goes well and we'll do another one. Another URL here is whatever it is. Don't okay. So we get this one. Yeah, let me know if the uh, font is is much better now. Uh, hopefully, it will be better. Um, and what we're gonna be using here. Uh, IO Confluent Key SQL DB. So we're doing this implementation. 
implementation uh, and what's the uh, what's the package name sql db ip client and 0.11.0 as far as i can tell from uh, from the version of yep okay cool stuff the rest of the things is we don't need um things all right now let's see if we have this uh, java library it looks like uh we successfully brought in things let's let's do let's do this application so um what we are going to use we don't need uh, this we're going to be and we don't need this one as well okay let's start with this guy now in um, in uh, in documentation so we need to use this uh, client client options dot create client options dot create and i guess it's the uh, builder so set host um, we do have i do have a i don't want to run this locally and uh, in the live streams we're doing something stuff in the cloud um, if you want to follow along you can also do this in your um like if you need a code to get into, um, if you need a code to get into um, Confluent Cloud, just let me know. I will um, I will definitely uh, post it. So let's take a look. Where are we looking our URL? KSQL DB application. Mm, where we can get uh, where we can get information. So we cannot get this here. But if I do. Um, C cloud ksql sql app list and json so this is my endpoint uh and this is my it's going to be my url that i will be using um set host we're going to be connecting here set the port is going to be 443 set um, what use TLS true and um, use basic auth username and password all right where I can get those um, in my previous live streams you probably remember I use this um, utility called um, C cloud stack and C cloud stack already um, registered some keys for me so I will go and um, I will go this and grab from my uh, previous app. In this particular case, if I'll do in V, I should get something. This is my auth point. If you don't understand what I'm doing right now, I broke down this in a previous stream. So go watch this one as well. Uh, this is going to be username and password that allows us to connect to Confluent Cloud and I'll do um, no 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 not 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 this one so I created not the get but set uh -huh. set okay Set basic credentials, uh, username and password. And now I need to do uh, client options. Okay, client options and uh, client dot create client options and dot war. And let's do something. Client dot uh, list of topics. It returns future. I'll do get and I'll do war. Let's see if we can get those. Um, uh, let's do this one. Or we'll just do much easier topics, infos each for each um, system 
dot out dot println so we will play uh, get all the topics it's probably some exception uh, this is how we're dealing with exceptions and I'll do client dot close at the end let's see if this will work um, if I will be able to get a list of topics from my application right cool stuff I do have you must enable a LMPN okay LMPN L -A, a L P N whatever it means uh, to do a set um, true um, okay that's probably should it be enabled by default probably should it be I think so uh, like with the TLS when I enable TLS it should be enabled it like automatically hopefully all right okay so looks like it actually works so as you can see here um, we do have a bunch of topics that I have in my um, Confluent Cloud account let's take a look on this one if I go here looks like all these topics are created so we successfully went through the step number one and step number one was just like a connecting to KSQL DB cluster uh, in this example it uses localhost I didn't want to use localhost my Kafka cluster in the cloud and my KSQL cluster in the cloud as well so I have a topic my offsets this is my transactions topics cool so let's see how we can do something with this let's see if you have any other questions um, light to track bugs I guess we still there's still conversation about my um, my theme um, it's not only a, a um, <laughs> attract bugs but also I believe um, that the the black one is better from perspective of like compression I hope or white is better from perspective of compression in the in the stream I don't know let me know Kafka has some client web to see messages in the topic okay I think uh, the question is is there any client that allows you to see messages in the topics um, yeah I think we need to really start building like F, um, FAQ for for live streams where the people asking the, the similar questions over and over again um, if you joined us for the first time thank you I appreciate you and uh, thank you for being a part of live streams and this in this particular case in this um, in this world of live streams I using Kafka that deploys in Confluent Cloud and Confluent Cloud already has UI that allows me to connect and see messages in the topic so in this particular case I'm going here in my topics and see messages in account topic so it says messages if I go to the reset offset and click enter it should show me some messages uh, no in this partition let's see in partition 9 do we have it usually partition 9 is the lucky one and it's very um, all these messages are ah no there's no messages here because I think I didn't start the connector so if I go here um, scripts connect um, okay so now that I should have messages um, again if it does make any sense in the, my previous uh, in my previous episode of live streams I broke down this application and the full architecture of this application and how it brings data and today we're trying to uh, execute um, execute the step number three here uh, key SQL enrich enrichment by using just the Java client instead of like going into UI so let's try to create a table and to create a table uh, we need to look into example let's see how we can do this um, now um, stream query uh, is to push and push queries um, this will allow me to uh, do selects how I can do things with execute query execute query uh, allows me to execute okay example 
Looks looks one. Ah, okay. I do, I'm not sharing. Hehe. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes, I'm sorry. Just to give me a second. I'm not sharing. So I didn't share. Yes, I apologize for that. So once again, um, what I was showing here is that inside my account topic, in my account topic, I do have um, the uh, some messages that I'm pushing locally from my uh, from my application. And right now there's nothing. I just need to go and receive offset. And after that, you should be able to see it. Um, and you should be able to see it. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, can we have? Um, can we have your own UI? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Um, it's just like uh, building your own UI without any third-party software. Another option would be is enable um, REST proxy. REST proxy is a community license. You can have it like for free and build UI on top of this uh, REST proxy. In this case, like this UI going to be talking to REST interface. And um, with this REST interface, you will be able to, to query Kafka topic. Uh, Vyacheslav Radionov, thank you so much. I appreciate you. If you think the same way, hit this like button. Thanks to my parents. It's not nothing to do with me. All right. Um, let's get back. Let's get back and where I am doing here. So I'm getting back to documentation of this client and I'm looking into the way is how I can create something. Let's see what kind of uh, method I need to use. Uh, create and manage new streams. I need to use execute statement. Um, so with my client, with my client, uh, okay, I have a list of topics. With my client, I do client dot um, execute statement. And now I should be uh, putting some SQL there where I can take this. This SQL uh, is already here in. Yep. So we're going to be using this one. Let's call it um, string uh, create account table. Oops. Um, this is going to be my uh, create account table. If I would use Kotlin, by the way, I will be using multi-line. Um, I will be using multi-line thing. Create account table. So, and uh, result, result. And I'll do this war. Um, let's see if I can get anything from here. Uh, two, 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 two. Result query ID and what is that? Um, let's see if I can. I can do execute statement result if I can play. Uh, um, I don't need those. Um, and when I run this, let's see if we will be able to get something interesting here. All right. Received uh, 403 from the server. Authorization exception encountered. Received from response. Authorization. Okay. Um, when I have this error in the past, people might be uh, have some suggestions from the past why why I have authorization error. Uh, where is my? No, 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 no. We're not not here. And my here. So um, friendly reminder from the Confluent Cloud CLI. In session. Okay, that would be better, much better. Okay, C Cloud, KSQL, app, and I'll do C Cloud, uh, Kafka cluster list. And now I need to do C Cloud, uh, KSQL, app, um, configure SELs. So in this case, my 
cluster for case SQL this one and I will go and just do this one um, and uh, this is ID for my cluster for for Kafka cluster so let's uh, open all ACLs and now I should be able to run my my application let's see if I if um, everything should be fine all right query ID empty interesting let's see on on UI if we created oh no 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 let's do this one uh, once we done this programmatically why we need to use UI so we if we created this one if I can do client uh, dot uh, list list of what is that is it stream or table it's table list uh, tables dot get um, <coughs> for each um, system dot out print line. Okay, let's see if, uh, if we successfully created this table. Yes, so we created this table uh, programmatically in, uh, in Confluent Cloud. Let's, um, let's see on the UI. And now... So I'm wondering now, in my... Um, so I created this table. If I would query this one, if I would query, okay, let me uh, switch in, see if there's any questions. Um, where I can find depth explanation with examples of Kafka Connect? Those just give you very limited examples. Okay, uh, again, very good question to ask in live streams. There is a channel, YouTube channel called Robin Moffat. So I don't know why you're not aware about this channel. Just go subscribe to this channel. And uh, Robin does uh, extremely good uh, explanation about all things around Kafka Connect. You want to learn from him. So there's a bunch of different uh, videos. Uh, if you go and check his playlist um, about uh, the Kafka Connect, and uh, there's a bunch of different connectors that he broke down for you. So um, go ahead and test this. Um, test this out exactly yes um, uh, to my point of multi-line things <laughs> just, I, I need to use Java 14 to in order to support that um, maybe I should should try it can we use existing Amazon S3 bucket as a source um, as a source topic this is a very good question can you let's see how you can learn this so the way how you can do, um, you go and and you're looking for S3, Kafka Connect S3. Let's see, uh, available as a sync, allows you to export data into AWS. Let's see if we have any source connector. There's a Kafka Connect source connector that developed by, uh, let's see, by whom? Source connector that allows you to um, to read the data from uh, Kafka uh, from S3 bucket and push this data into Kafka topic. So look for Amazon S3 source connector, um, and uh, this is what you can do. So. Anytime we need to bring something into Kafka, you're looking for source connector. When you need to get data out of Kafka, you need to use sync connector. So this is what um, you can do. Um, okay. Any plans for automatic Scala API? Vyacheslav, I don't know if you're trolling or not. But Scala is my stop word here. So I cannot comment on Scala thing. But hey, <laughs> you can probably implement this yourself and uh, the, contribute this back. So 
Um, I don't know. Like I, or maybe we should hire someone. Like we should hire someone who knows Scala, or maybe loves Scala. So, um, no, no Scala for me in these live streams. While I'm in charge, there will be no Scala. Maybe, maybe. All right. So we were able to create a uh, table. And now I should be able to uh, do this um, reset. Let's see if we can do some properties. Okay. Okay. Let's, let's try the over. Okay. We can do this uh, properties map uh, execute statement. Okay. So in order for me to get this, um, the statements, so let's, let's drop it. Let's drop it and um, let's do this one. Uh, we'll do um, client. Oh, I've seen drop here. Uh, yep, execute statement. Drop table. Okay. Drop table accounts. Um, executing this one. Now, I don't really care about result because result doesn't give us anything useful. Now, um, um, properties. Execute, execute statements. I want to create a uh, What kind of methods available? Uh, string and properties. Okay, we'll do this one. Life, life coding, life coding is hard. Um, okay, we do this one. Map object the properties. So we, I just want to uh, create this table and populate this with existing data. So in this case, um, um, oh yeah, I would not gonna do this one. It's Java 11, right? It's Java 11, why I would do this one? Map off this and just do war. Um, no, I just like to put this here. Okay, so what are we doing here? I'm dropping existing table. After that, I would like to create new table with reset offset um, that allows me to um, get existing data. And after that, I should be able to, um, um, let's see how I can do select. Um, select, select. Select star. Uh, okay. We will see asynchronous usage of this one. Select from my, uh, it's not going to stream, it's going to be accounts. Uh, curse ID, role subscriber. Uh, what is this? What is this? A raw subscriber. Where just like Stack Overflow copy? Okay, my raw subscriber. It is something like implements that subscribe. Um, yeah. So let's um, let's uh, yeah, let's stick to uh, synchronous API for now, and uh, next time we will talk about asynchronous because I don't like um, this. You know this thing, maybe we can come up with some better framework or integration with some other framework. So let's see, configuring stuff. Uh, <laughs> bye. <laughs> All right. That's awesome. Um, how to parse XML data in Kafka using KSQL DB or Kafka Connect? Uh, it's very, very interesting question, uh, how to parse uh, XML. So the 
Keysql DB doesn't support XML out of the box as a type, so you probably need to use something like Kafka Streams in order to parse your XML, or you need to implement your own um, the, like a like a trans transformation that allows you to um, to do this. Um, I don't know. Like uh, I would I would rather that. Uh, it's just a very generic question. I would rather use Kafka Streams for that because um, Kafka Streams allows you to bring whatever library you use in your um, in your world to parse this XML. So I think I think that um, I think that would uh, would do the thing. Um, otherwise, people, let me know in the comments if you know there's a better way how we can do this. Thanks for this question, Rex. Um, Okay, now, when I get this, um, oops, get, we're going to be using synchronous uh, API for today, uh, because I don't know how to, oof, no, 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 war, um, result, and how we can iterate over this streamed result, um, it's a publisher, um, like publisher, what? Uh, reactive streams. Um, okay. Publisher from reactive streams. How we can iterate over it? And okay. Let's see. Uh, oh, it looks um, very much uh, like uh, GDBC, right? It, uh, do, do you folks think it uh, looks like a GDBC? Um, all right, uh, okay, so connect it, a drop account, existing one, um, next one, create with earliest offset, and after that, we will see if the table will be there, and after that, we will get a select, uh, not account, a account, and no one is, is correcting me for some reasons, like, folks, I thought we have a collaboration here and uh, <laughs> I'm expecting someone will correct in my uh, my code my lazy uh, lousy what's the word I'm looking for lousy uh, the, the live coding all right let's run it let's see how it goes okay received response source account um, All right. Okay. Yes, we created this one, and we're waiting to get some of the response from the um, from this table. Um, will we get something? Will we get anything? Uh, 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 uh. Waiting, waiting. Let's see if we um, if we can do the same on UI. And um, uh, yeah, that's uh, uh, sorry. Yeah, we're going here. Um, we're going back into this one. Do login. Let's see. KSQL. Uh, KSQL DB. Um, tables. And now if I'll do query table, I should get a... Stop and run a query. Ah, maybe I... Ah, no, no, I do have some data. Okay. So the, the data arrived here um, and... Uh, but it looks weird. Uh, connection was closed. Hmm. Is it like per per uh, per partition or? No, I sh I expected to see hundred of um, of records. Um. Okay, that's uh that's the result. That looks right. So UI shows me right thing. Let me try. Let me try to rerun this with uh, different uh, with different statement. So if I would say select and I can provide a properties, can I do? Can I do this? 
um, map properties. Okay, I should just do um, where's my where's my guy? I will just do this war. Um, yeah, properties, and I will put the properties here. Um, so in this case, I don't need to drop anything anymore, and I don't need to um, create anything anymore. I will just get except sorry. Uh, all right, and uh, let's rerun this and see. If that would be better, if I will get all these hundred messages back, uh, thousand messages back, not hundred. While it's loading, let's see if they have any questions. Um, Kisikal DB gets corrupted in some way. That's a very interesting question. I don't know how to answer this one. Uh, can you elaborate, please, uh, Darmesh? Um, thank you. If you have a requirement to encrypt your messages um, to ensure end-to-end -end encryption, Kafka doesn't support it, right? When you can use schema registry key SQL, right? Okay. Uh, it is a very complex question, uh, Carl. Thank you so much for, um, for, uh, for asking this one. So... A um, couple things. You can encrypt. There's a two things in in this question. If you need to do encryption uh, when the messages go over the wire, I think um, SSL uh, should, or TLS should be fine, and you will be all right there. If you feel that it is something that you need to also encrypt the messages when they are in uh, at rest, meaning that they are inside the Kafka topic. There's still option that you can uh, you can do that without like uh, providing some extra you know serializers that will be encrypting things. So you still can use uh, file system based encryption like Lux, uh, which is a Linux standard encryption mechanism that allows you to encrypt the file system where Kafka is running, um, and you can use a TLS to um, to to do this um, this type of stuff. If you look into something like um, um, how it's called, like a, a, a symmetric encryption of these messages, you need to you go into realm of custom serializers, deserializers. Um, uh, there is a there is a very let me let, let me show you. There was a if you go to if you go to If we go to Kafka Summit and there is a um, past um, past event section and we go into San Francisco, say 2000, um, 2018, and if we go to recordings and slides, um, so Charlie and Kevin from Apple, they were talking about uh, their infrastructure. And one of the things that they were talking actually, um, uh, the uh, management of uh, their secrets and how they were perform some of the encryption. So I would recommend to check this out, this talk. Uh, you will get some of the ideas uh, how they implemented this. And maybe, maybe this will be also somehow related to your, um, to your case, Carl. All right, so um, check this out. Uh, check this talk uh, again. We're talking about encryption, um, and in general, this is very, like, yeah. So definitely, you cannot be. You won't. We won't be able to use key SQL because key SQL only supports a certain uh, serialization and deserialization, um, uh, like Avro, um, the text, and uh, protobuf and JSON. With Kafka streams. You, you will be able to use it, uh, but you need to have uh, some like custom serializer, deserializer. If I'm reading this question correctly, 
Uh, okay, any use case you encounter where regulatory and compliance needs to encrypt and not to keep data on topic of more than minute an hour. So in this case, you maybe don't need uh, the need to use Kafka at all. Um, like because in Kafka you are you want to save the data because um, this is kind of like a you can configure retention for one minute and use Kafka just uh, like. Kind of okay, kind of cash, but I don't think it is a um, it's a good idea to use Kafka in this case. Um, just like you can uh, uh, you can use the messaging system that uh, allows you just when you read the message it will disappear um, if I'm reading you correctly. Um, Yeah, you, if we're talking about the data at rest, um, before you start inventing some of the crazy things, I would highly recommend to look at Lux uh, first. Um, let's see. Um, it's called a... Um, so we're talking about this Lux, not the... Uh, and uh, it's uh, and tr try this first. Try this first and see uh, if it satisfies your requirement. If not, um, yeah, just, there might be some some other solution. Um, at the moment, we have a custom serialized deserialized with Custom. Yeah, I think this this that's that's the way how you do in this and. Um, yeah, there's because in inside the Kafka there's no kind of like encryption and we're not tying any particular encryption for the reason because different organizations might have a different requirements for encryption and there's some of the like you know legal things that permitting not to do the stuff some some com some countries not allowed to export like uh, strong encryption you know tools and things like that so. Um, yeah, in this case, if you're doing it with custom serialization, you still kind of can try this, but you need to implement all this like a scheme registry, serializer, deserializers yourself. So um, not sure if you want to go into this um, into this business, <laughs> and as a matter of fact. So, yeah. All right. Um, thank you, folks. Uh, keep coming. Uh, keep uh, these questions coming. Um, let's uh, let's finish up. So let's finish up our application and what we're doing here. I will investigate why I don't see all results here. Maybe I'm missing some of the part, but uh, uh, yeah, okay. So it's from, I'm stupid. I apologize for that. And it's just like uh, all the messages will be here uh, from, from this topic. Okay, cool. So let's uh, skip that one. Let's uh, finish, uh, finish up with this uh, next, um, next statement. I wanted to have my workshop and there's a, I'm creating another stream. To create another stream, uh, I'm doing this uh, um, string create, uh, what, what kind of stream we have here? Um, transaction, successful transactions. Um, successful. There is, uh, um, statement. Um, I want to go in here, execute client, execute, um, execute statement. I will do create a transaction. Uh, also, I want to have a, a properties and, uh, just let's call it get let's just like yeah, block it um, and we'll do get list of uh, streams so in this case it will be here um, I need to run this yes I'm not sharing yes thank you um, so what I was doing here, I was just like copy paste this, uh, um, the, um, uh, 
copy pasting here, stream was created, uh, transaction success was created successfully. And the third stream that we want to use, and um, this stream, that's transaction statement. And uh, do, 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 do. string uh, TRX statement. Okay, um, that will do. And uh, in this case, it's another stream. I will do. Uh, I don't need this uh, client uh, execute statement a TRX statement and properties um, and just to get um okay nice uh we go in this 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 all right um and i when i run this okay so we have a stream transaction success transaction statement account all good here now the next last uh, the last thing that I want to try here is to um, to see if my uh, streams transaction su uh, not success I want to have a streams uh, transaction statement and if we want a query stream. There's nothing here because I didn't submit uh, a correct statement here. Uh, getting back or here, Java minus jar. Uh, we do key streams demo build uh, leaves. Okay. Uh, running this uh, stream processing application again. This application was broke down into uh, pieces back uh, on the on the previous live stream, so you will get the idea. Um, generate transaction. Let's do um, deposit deposit three thousand USDs. Um, should be able to do that. And we should be able to see successful transaction over here. Now let's see if we can uh, get the result of this transaction back in my Java client. So in this case, I will do client stream query. Um, it's going to be this one. Um, and I'll do get will get me a uh, war um, stream results stream results and let's do this one uh, for uh, while while true uh, again it's just like I'm hacking around uh, it's not production ready code um, I will do um, this guy like this um, and I should be able to get um, properties now should be I don't need this when I run this I should expect getting some of the results back okay client close uh, why is that uh, unreachable code um, yeah because okay <laughs> let's do uh, uh, not the while true let's do for um, like let's let's copy it here just like for a uh, example sake we will I will we'll, we'll fix this next time I promise um, next time would be much much uh, much robust code today we're learning how we can use this basic API and we'll make it pretty next time all right I received this raw okay so in this case um, my account amount deposit okay if i would submit another if i would submit another say deposit um, 5000 so our balance would be 8k let's see if we will receive any results yay we received another result uh, amount 5k in the words our 
um, balance 8,000. Yeah, I think it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a huge. I think it's a, it's a success. Now, all right. Um, as a reminder, uh, we can definitely talk about any uh, topics uh, that you want. Just bring those questions more, join the live stream. Um, I will be able to talk about uh, other things. Um, if you want me to talk about specific things, um, how the way how, <laughs> how to approach it. Um, Twitter. Clearly, Twitter is this. Um, starting from where's my where's my um, where's my profile? Previous time, I asked you what kind of topic you would be interested in and what you want to talk me uh, want you so basically <laughs> what you want to hear in this and probably from the next time i will start talking about some of the microservices use cases um one of the things that people were asking me to you know how to do like transaction between the producer and database and things like that and uh, i was promised i promised to look into this one so next time I will start looking to this one. So maybe I will be combining some of the Kubernetes and microservices and Kafka and Confluent Cloud together. But essentially, that's my uh, that's my roadmap. And I see 165 people voted. Um, the way how you can also affect this, just like put the likes, put the comments in these videos and saying, hey, Victor, it's awesome. Great videos. Can you talk about certain use case? Um, and uh, for, for that, I think that would be enough for today. Um, let's see if, if I do have any other questions. Uh, uh, okay, so how we can use Kafka to count post like? Um, it's a good question. Maybe talk about next time. Uh, also, you can... Um, um, you know, we, we can we can talk about it. bring this question next time. Um, definitely, is going to be a very 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 useful. Uh, okay, so yeah. As always, my name is Victor Gamov, and I wish you very nice day. Stay tuned for more content from Confluent. Today is a meetup uh, with Neil Busing and uh, Elon just like Uh Make sure to tune in. And the next week, I will see you in the live streams.